So as a head teacher, I think that um, flexible working is a recruitment solution, but as the co-founder and national leader of Women Ed, we hear all the time women are leaving the sector because they can't lead, um, because head teachers and chairs of governors are saying that you either need to work full time or relinquish your TLR. Um, so as a community, as a network, we're trying to encourage and enable more women to actually be leaders, but we're trying to change the face of leadership because actually you don't need to be in the building 24-7 to be a leader. When you ask people and they feel involved in the process, there's a lot more give and take, isn't there? Yeah. And, and a lot of it's about compromise, so it might look like it's all the perfect solution, it's not, but you might go, well, look, I can't give you, or you can have that, they go, I really want this to happen. You're, yeah, you can have that, but if you have that, that can't happen. And then they've got a bit of choice in the matter, and I think they do feel... Well, they then feel that like, they own the decision that's been made. Yeah, the exactly. decision hasn't been handed to them, they've actually owned it. I've been particularly surprised by how much work there is that goes on with timetabling before the actual timetable happens. So the curriculum choices, the curriculum blocks and how much a timetable can influence students' choices and therefore students' futures. I understand timetabling to be more about um, a grid with staff and teachers and rooms in it, but actually bef before that happens it's about student choices and students hopes and their aspirations and their dreams and the education that we're actually able to provide for them through that timetable.